Come on, baby, come on! Yeah! Yeah! Stupid <sighs> horse! I'll chop your head off! <sighs> Who is this thickhead? Tommy Rossetti. <sighs> you remember me. Excuse me, I'm a little anxious. <sighs> Never trust a goddamn horse! You do a good job. You work for me now. I work for money. As I said, amigo, you work for me now. I work Shut for up! Money. Some Judas has betrayed me. He thinks I don't know how much money I should be making. But stealing 3% is as good as stealing 100%. No one does this to me. No one. You follow him from his apartment, and you see where he goes. Later, we will kill him. This asshole thinks he can mess with me? If this is the best Vice City has to offer, this is gonna be easy. Más música estupenda en el próximo momento que sea comercialmente posible. Throughout human history, people have come to the shores to pursue the American dream. Life, liberty, and the chance to exploit others and get one over on your fellow man. Some people say America is a wild west Darwinian nightmare. But hey, we have the best fried food and theme restaurants in the world to take full advantage of the remarkable opportunities of this land of select freedom. You've got to understand the language of freedom. Some call it American English. Others call it backwater stone jumping gibber speak. But to us, it's plain old redneck. It's the language of government, business, and the language of friendship. And now you can learn real spoken English fast with this exciting 40 cassette program called Learn Redneck Pretty Fast. Available in Spanish to redneck, French to redneck, Japanese to redneck, English, and of course, Latin. Just listen to this vocabulary lesson. Benito Hermana. Girlfriend. Bueno. Order now, and you'll get a commemorative spit tune and a videotape that shows you how to cook armadillo. Armadillo is good eating. It's like a lobster, except you can run over it and eat it. Called now. Listening medallion? Silk shirt open to the navel. Something missing? Complete the look. Complete the look with a personalized chest wig at Vice... Slow, granddad. You better keep on running, asshole. Smart cookie. Thanks, Jazz. Now, do you think it's important that, well, I mean, you're a great looking guy, even though your girlfriend is a cheap tramp, but do you think it's important that rock and roll bands look good, or is it about the music? Like I said, I'm a creature with two faces. Oh, shit! Now, back to pressing issues. Welcome back to pressing issues with me, Maurice Chavez, and our panel. 
Vanguard, the secessionist lunatic, John Hedby, Liberal Rich Kid, Callum Brayshaw, and neo-fascist congressman, Alex Shaw. Gentlemen, welcome back. Let's start with you, Mr. Hedby. Why the ass? For Florida. I'm a patriot. I've even got an orange glow tattooed all over my groin. Excellent. Come on! Yeah! Yeah! This asshole thinks he can mess with me? If this is the best Vice City has to offer, this is gonna be easy. A thousand low IQ morons in Green Bay or, or Tampa or Liberty City or whatever screaming how they want you dead just because you're playing for the Mambas. That's actualizing the self. Wow, that sounds interesting. Tell me about it. You're I'm sure. I, I'm fit to. Hey, wait a minute. Are you reading a book over there doing this interview? No, no, I can hardly read. Get on with it. I'm trying to switch. You best listen. The comeback is a real deal. B.J. Smith, six-year Pro Bowl MVP. The man responsible for more broken bones than anyone since people had legs. I'm a fiddler crab. You can rip my arms off, and I'll just mow the road new ones. Where? Right here, right now. Let's get it out. Of course. I, I mean, when? Uh, soon, baby. Uh, real soon. But... And don't call it a comeback. Like the song say, I'll whoop your ass. And this time, I'm doing it my way. Ignorant fools, they gave me nothing to work with. The owner. Slow, Granddad. You better keep on running, asshole. We cannot boil people down to numbers. You have no idea, my friend, what it takes to serve. The sacrifices I've made to help my country, to help Vice City. The complexity of government, the, the hideousness of my wife, and the way her thighs grow like our national them. Oh, oh, sure, some people like that, but not me. It's a nightmare, my friend, and, and I have it thrown back at me by an ingrate like you. I can scarcely get up in the morning. And with... This asshole thinks he can mess with me? If this is the best Vice City has to offer, this is gonna be easy. Green Bay, or, or Tampa, or Liberty City, or whatever, screaming how they want you dead just because you're playing for the Mambas. That's actualizing the self. Wow, that sounds interesting. Tell me about it. I'm doing it. I'm fit to. Hey, wait a minute. Are you reading a book over there doing this interview? No, no, I can hardly read. Get on with it. I'm trying to switch. You best listen. The comeback is a real deal. B.J. Smith, six-year Pro Bowl MVP, the man responsible for more broken bones than anyone since people had legs. I'm a fiddler crab. You can rip my arms off, and I'll just mow and grow new ones. Where? Right here, right now. Let's get it up. Of course. I, I mean, when? Maybe a uh, uh, real soon. But and don't call it a comeback. Like the song say, I'll whoop your ass. And this time, I'm doing it my way. Ignorant fools that gave me nothing to work with. The owners, I mean. What owners?
too slow, Grandad. You better keep on running, asshole. Statistics hurled at me like so much stale confetti. We cannot boil people down to numbers. You have no idea, my friend, what it takes to serve, the sacrifices I've made to help my country, to help Vice City, the complexity of government, the, the hideousness of my wife, and the way her thighs grow like our national debt. Oh, oh, sure, some people like that, but not me. It's a nightmare, my friend, and I have it thrown back at me by an ingrate like you. I could scarcely get up in the morning. And with that outrageous revelation, let's take a quick break to tell you something very informative. You're listening to Pressing Issues on Vice City Public Radio. Over to you, Jonathan. Hello, and welcome back. I'm Jonathan Freeloader, and you're listening to VCPR. This portion of Pressing Issues is brought to you by Ammunition, a proud supporter of public radio and our community. We hope you're enjoying Pressing Issues and the way it challenges your view of society. Unfortunately, public radio in Vice City is under pressure. That's because we're better than everyone. You can't hear this kind of hard-hitting, long, drawn-out programming anywhere else. But you have to give money. That's right, Jonathan. Money is important. It can be exchanged for goods and services, like getting a hip replacement or funding a starving child in Australia. I feel all covered with flies right now. Call us. Pledge your money. Give 10% of your income. That's all we ask. And for that, you know everyone can be educated on the important things we discuss on VCPR. 10% is a really small amount. I remember when I was volunteering in Central America to make myself appear less shallow. The native peoples would give you 10% of their land for a pair of mirrored sunglasses. And they would run around me saying, chicle, chicle, which is Espanol for pretty woman. It was very special. Spiritual, like waves. Absolutely. But remember, this radio station could disappear. The voice of unprofitable radio could be silenced. One day you wake up, roll over, and she's gone. You go into the kitchen, there's a note scrawled, the sound of a taxi leaving in the distance, a thunderstorm rolls in. It's a metaphor for my haircut or this pledge drive. Yes, the pledge drive. Become a member. Only members or people with radios can listen to this radio station. Now back to pressing issues. Shouldn't we give out the phone number? Like I tell the children at the library I volunteer at, look it up yourself. No, you can't go to the bathroom and stop crying. That's good advice. Now, back to Pressing Issues. Welcome back to Pressing Issues with me, Maurice Chavez. On our panel, we got the secessionist lunatic John F. Hickory, liberal rich kid Callum Crayshaw, and neo-fascist congressman Alex Trump. Gentlemen, welcome back. Let's start with you, Mr. Hickory. Why the F? For Florida. I'm a patriot. I've even got an orange grove tattooed all over my groin. Excellent. But back to the matter at hand. Public safety. How do we get guns under control in this city? By giving everyone hope. A dream of a better tomorrow.